This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of trips and tricks. Today we're here with our One Boat Network, our Minn Kota Humminbird. It's all come together to make it easier for you. And we're going to talk about two quick things that make it easier for me. That's my Minn Kota Talons and my Minn Kota Ultrax Spot Lock feature. Um, when and where to use and how I do that um, we're going to discuss some differences of uh, places that I use the talons preferably over my spot lock and places I prefer spot lock over my talons but uh, the big thing is is to learn and add these features to your boat and see how simple and easy when you work when you have it all together in a one boat network where it makes it easier for you to enjoy your time on the water and ultimately catch more fish. One of the many uses of the Minn Kota Talon especially we're seeing here on Truman Lake is uh, the boat ramps are all flooded uh, we have one high high water ramp that's open and there is no courtesy dock so with my Hamby's protector on my Skeeter here I can uh, slide it up on the boat ramp put my talons down and my boat will stay while I go park the vehicle especially if you're loading by yourself this is a great option uh, is use Minn Kota talons as your best friend to help you out you can see they're locked down. Now I'm ready to go fish. Now one of the things here, we're in 18 foot of water, man. We've got super high flooded conditions. And my Minn Kota Talons, we make eight, 10, 12, and 15 footers. Well, none of them would reach the bottom. So I want to kind of fan cast this, this uh, stuff so it'd be a good place to just sit, hit my spot lock, and I can fish this flooded cover here uh, real quick and easy. Um, it's going to keep me back the distance so I can cast. Uh, is one of the great advantages of the spot lock over the talon because the talon couldn't reach. So that's the number one. That's the first thing is uh, when you need to when you need to fish in deeper water than your talons can go. Spot lock is your answer. Now here's one of another places I'm getting back in here in the junk and I want to grab a different rod. Uh, I'm on the trolling motor. I'm in the depth that I can use my talons. I just hit the talon button down and it'll go down. Uh, see our blue lights? They're extended. We're stopped. It's going to keep the boat from drifting on in here where I want to try to catch fish. I'm going to pull out a, another rod out of the rod box. And I want to grab a bait. So, I'm going to stop here. Oh, they're not in that box. Got to run to the back and grab a bait. So, we grabbed the bait. We're going to we sit right here. We're not going to disturb the area that we want to fish. The wind's blowing, it's going to keep me out, allows me to rig up this bait uh, quick, fast, easy without the boat blowing in on the structure and messing up the fish. That's one of the other reasons where I like the Minn Kota Talon because it would be, troll motor would be blowing this shallow stuff. Um, plus, when I get ready to fish, I can sit here and I can pick this area apart and try to catch the elusive largemouth bass on Truman Lake. Now that I have my bait tied on, I can sit here and I can pick this apart without making much noise. Uh, it allows me to be more stealthy fishing this floated mat here. Uh, tight covers. We don't want to startle that fish. We want to try to leave him in his natural thing. Your talon going down will allow you to not make noise with the trolling motor on and off. So that is one of the great advantages of the Minn Kota Talon is uh, being able to fish around the different areas. We'll flip over here. We'll flip over here. And it allows me to cover lots of water without disturbing the area uh, the fish may be hiding in. 
One of the places a lot of people don't realize talons have a benefit is when you're trying to fish these steep, steep walls and you need to fish into basically the direction the wind is blowing. What I like to do is I take my talons, talon down. What I'll do is I'll run my talons all the way down where the, all that, they're totally in the water, they're not touching bottom, but what they do is they add wind resistance. And that allows me to slow the boat down. Allows me to slow the boat down and use the, where instead of having to turn on the trolling motor all the time back like and backing up, I can use the resistance of the talon being deployed to provide wind resistance. If you're drifting out in the lake or if you're fishing here close in the bank, uh, trying to stay parallel, it uh, it's another advantage of talon is it drastically reduces the boat. I was uh, fishing a bass open down at Table Rock and I actually used this technique on day two. Uh, finished 14th in the tournament, uh, but the talons were a lot of it. It actually slowed my boat down about a mile and a half uh, where I could keep that bait and tick in the bottom, especially a bait like a crankbait uh, like this, uh, hitting the bottom and staying in that target zone. Deploying the talons into the water allowed me to slow the boat to fish at the right speed and I was catching fish that other people weren't. Allows you to fight when you catch a fish you can fight you can hit the spot lock and we got us a little catfish. Catfish are jumping. Nah, 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 nah. But uh, now I've hit spot lock even with my talons down it gives me advantage of both at the boat at the same time. Total boat control is what we're after. I can get my pair of pliers because Mr. Catfish ate that crankbait. He liked that for dinner. And yes, sometimes us bass fishermen catch stuff we don't want to keep ourselves. Say hi Mr. Catfish. You're live on YouTube. Here's another way I like to use my Minn Kota Talon. I just got a bait hung up here. I can drop my talons down. They can drop down and now I can go in after my bait and if it'll hit the bottom before I get to run the bait, the trolling motor or the boat up into the bank. I may have to pick the trolling motor up uh, and this will keep me out of the rock. Protect your investment from uh, making a bad cast. As nice as these boats are, you don't want to scratch them up. Helps you get that bait back and get back to fishing. Uh, that's one of the things a Minn Kota Talon can protect your investment. Now one of the most awesome features of the spot lock is fishing offshore. We're out here in the middle of the lake. We've got a hump out here. We're going to set us up a waypoint and we're going to spot lock on that waypoint. And we're going to fish this offshore structure. Um, we're going to jump in here and I'm going to zoom in and show you how I do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my boat up where I want to on this point. This is the simplest and easiest way to pull up to a point. Now you can create it by using a waypoint. We've got some wind blowing across here. If not, we would normally have to stay here, watch our map, keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. All I have to do is take my foot, tap the spot lock button, and it's going to set me right here. And it's going to allow me to cast at that same spot, that cast, every single time. So now we get out our structure fishing gear here. No matter what the wind is, if you point it into the wind, it's going to be a lot easier.
And that's what you got to do to set up a spot lock out here. And you fish that same spot. If you're fishing brush piles, if you're fishing structure, uh, makes it so much easier. You don't have to fight with the wind. You can walk anywhere around in this boat that, that I want to. And I'm gonna, that trolling motor is going to be my anchor out here. We're in 33 foot of water casting up onto this hump and I don't have to do nothing. All I've got to do is worry about feeling that nick on the line and catching that big old fish. Right there, we're on the hump. We're on the juice. I can feel that rock down there. But that is one of the ultimate features of using Minn Kota spot lock. You can use it in shallow water. You can use it in deep water. You can use it in any depth of water. The Minn Kota spot lock through the Ultra X trolling motor, the iPilot part of that. And that's where the ultimate part of this one boat network is. Oh, missed that one. <laughs> oh, he was there. I hope that helped you learn a lot more about uh, the Minn Kota Talon and the Minn Kota Ultrax trolling motor with iPilot Link. Uh, make sure you get the One Boat Network, put it all together. It makes it so much life so much simpler. I uh, hope that helps you learn a little bit about where you can use the talents, where you can use Spotlock, and why you need to have both of them on your boat. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks, and tune in next time as we go more in depth about these awesome products and this One Boat Network from Minn Kota and Hummingbird. Uh, it's all come together, makes life easier. You use the Lake Master mapping, you use the Hummingbird fish finders, uh, Helix, Solix, it all works together to help you enjoy your time on the water and ultimately catch more fish. Thank you and tune in next time.